Norman, owner of CC Detailing, and Carrie Whitney. Carrie is one of the beautiful mothers at Christina's house, but she also works as a manager at CC Detailing. And they are here with us today to just highlight their business, what they're doing, and how they, um, you know, how Christina's house has impacted them as well. So, Andrew and Carrie, thank you for being here today. Thank you. So, Andrew, tell us about CC Detailing. Well, um, our main business line is uh, dealerships, but we do offer uh, driveway services and mobile services. We have a van that goes out with uh, some of our detailers that go out to people's houses or dealerships or businesses or anything and uh, clean their cars right in their driveway and usually takes about two to three hours depending on what's getting done. And um, We also service a lot of the dealerships around here, so most likely we've probably cleaned almost everybody in Western Mass's car without them knowing. Um, but when we're actually uh, rocking and rolling on a, on a normal month, uh, anywhere between 2,500 and 3,000 cars actually pass through our hands uh, throughout our company. So uh, we employ about 25 people. Um, so it's, it's fun. So that's pretty much uh, us in a nutshell. So how has um, this pandemic impacted you, Andrew? Well, it's, it's, it's been strange because we all thought we were going on vacation for a few weeks and uh, <laughs> come to find out we're, yes, uh, <laughs> we're busier than probably we should be. But uh, we always told our dealerships that we do work with and our customers, whatever they need, we'll always be there for them. So uh, that's a big thing for us. So we've been very, very, very short staff, but we have a, a great core group of people that have shown up every day and put their gloves and masks on and sanitized their hands and, you know, got things done. So that's a, been a big help. And uh, Carrie's been there every single day since this all started. And um, we're obviously happy to have someone like her on our team. So yeah and Carrie, i mean your story is pretty dramatic um when you came to christina's house you were a full-on hairdresser that was what you were going to do and still is what you're going to do for the rest of your life but somehow our conversation um opened up to you working <laughs> right yes tell us what happened and what that was like for you um I don't know. It just, I still love doing hair. Um, it was just a different opportunity and it just, it took a lot of praying and a lot of conversations with every single person that I came in contact with <laughs> until I made my decision. But I'm actually really glad with my decision. I really enjoy what I do. And you have like, I mean, Andrew, you can speak to this too, but um, Alex said, oh boy, it's Andrew Norman with a smiley laughter my, my little buddy over at Mercedes. <laughs> yes. Um, and yeah, I mean, that that's kind of the tie in here today too. We had Michelle Worth on uh, live earlier today, but Carrie, most, a lot of your work is done at Mercedes Benz of Springfield. Is that, is that right? Yes. Yeah. They love you there. <laughs> Um, I, I know that you're an asset to anybody you work for, and I think Andrew uh, picked that up pretty quick, but I mean, you've gotten several promotions in, in about a year's worth of time because you've just proven yourself to be faithful and loyal and hardworking. Well, thank you. Yes, most definitely. Yeah, and I think, um, Andrew, you're, you're just one example of how businesses can give back and help our families. So if you own a business, and you have an opportunity for somebody to work with you, um, you know, you should reach out to us because we're always looking for trustworthy places that um, we can kind of send our moms to who need uh, to work. And Carrie, for you, I mean, career change, but your goal, I mean, we've we've got some goals coming up. Um, you, have, you have less than a year left in the program and around October, November, you're gonna be starting to look for your very first house. Is that right? Yes, I am. Which honestly, um, I really believe that wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the job change because it's more of a reliable and consistent job than being a hairdresser. And that's something I'm really grateful for. Yeah, I mean, um, you have saved a ton of money. 
yeah. <laughs> is, is a little different because you came into the program, um, you had a boyfriend and, you know, we kind of worked with that. And the two of you have grown so much in your relationship and you're maybe preparing for a potential wedding down the road. That's definitely a possibility. Really. <laughs> we'll see what happens there. As but, long as uh, we're invited. Oh, yes. Invited. Oh, we're going to be a whole Christina's house, like big family bash. Yes. We're already planning it. Um, I think Cottage Hill Church, where Carrie attends, and one of our supporters at Christina's house is going to help us put together a pretty big shindig for sure. Um, but one of the reasons why I wanted you to come on, Carrie and Andrew, together is because, Andrew, I, I think you are a prime example of how you can help shape and change somebody's life just by giving them the opportunity to work and to show their gifts. Um, and so for you, Carrie, I mean, it's been a little over a year. You've got almost all of your savings for a house. Your debt is pretty much paid off, right? Yeah. Your credit score is going up um, like as we speak. <laughs> so you have already pre-qualified um, for a mortgage and like you are just making it work. You've got your daughter. Um, you're working on um, increasing. You have a beautiful son um, and you get to see him. I know not as often as you'd like, but, you know, I think part of our work at Christina's house has been helping you with that um, and getting him back in, in your life more and more. And I think that's definitely happening. Um, but Carrie, you know, I we were on with Petula earlier today and she said, like, this has been Christina's house is the best time of my life. But, you know, it's also difficult, right? It's a lot of work. It is definitely a lot of work, definitely yeah. is. But it's, it's a lot of work that's worth it in the end because it's a lot of life lessons that I don't think most of us would have gotten if it wasn't for being here. Mm -hmm. Agreed. And Andrew, you got involved with Christmas House kind of indirectly, right? Because it started yes. with the ride to remember. Uh, we actually started with uh, Once Upon a Child with Larry White. That's right, because we, Kathy worked for Larry. <laughs> yep, we um, we cleaned a car for one of the moms that got a free car, and then we uh, did what we could to help in the mechanic shop. wasn't much, but um, with that little odds and ends, and um, I think we cleaned one more after that, and then that's kind of how I got to know you. So um, I've always wanted to be a, a part of something. I started the business so that I could give as much as I could away. Um, so... This is a, a good spot to send my money. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's right. So Larry and Kathy White, um, owners of Once Upon a Child and Plato's Closet in West Springfield, they are huge supporters. They'll always give us gift cards so that um, like you, Carrie, can bring bras um, and go get clothes for the kids. But they also donated two cars a couple years ago. Um, so if you have a car that's in decent shape still that you'd like to donate to our families, um, people could always use a car. And a lot of the moms um, that come to us don't actually have a good, reliable car. I mean, Carrie, that was one of the first things uh, we did for you is to help you get into a, a new car that was, you know, in your budget. So yeah. we want to make sure that people can get to work safely and that they have reliable transportation. And, and Andrew, you jumped in right away. I mean, you gave you've given like gift cards to almost every single one of our events and you support the ride and many, many other things in your community. So yep. thank, thank you for what you do. I mean, you are a prime example of um, one person making a huge impact for sure. Now we have an event that we're all doing together. Carrie, I know this is one of your favorite fundraisers, right? The car show. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Carrie brought her car last year and she hung her tree. She definitely decorated her trunk with all the kids. We had such a good time. And Andrew, you're on our committee for that this year, helping us plan that. Um, and just definitely. We also have our poker run coming up. Um, we just changed that date um, and it's going to be in August. I believe it's August 15th now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we were going to have June 20th, but we just felt like it was too close to everything kind of just opening up. Um, so yes, uh, Saturday, August 15th is our poker run. And that's another event that um, Andrew and Carrie um, will be helping out with. We're super excited about that. But 
Carrie, if there's somebody out there that's watching this right now, that's thinking like, wow, Christina's house might be the place for me, but they're not sure, what would you say to them? Um, don't let a good opportunity pass you by because of fear and change. Because if you don't make a step forward, you'll never know if it fits you or not. Because it's really what it's about is just having the faith to take the next step, even if you're unsure about it. So true. And Andrew, for other people out there that are looking um, to find purpose, maybe they're a business owner and they want to kind of get involved in something bigger than their business, what would you say to them? I would say just do it. Um, it's a good, good feeling at the end of the day. There's a lot of benefits to uh, working hard and giving it away. Um, I just, it makes me feel good. I don't do it for the publicity. I try to, honestly, as crazy as it is, I try to keep my name out of it because um, I'm more of a do my best to help. But obviously, it's, it's nice to get your name out there um, as part of it. But um, I would just, like I said, it just, it makes me feel good to know that I'm helping people that need help. And uh, that's why I do it. And if people want to schedule a time to have their car detailed by someone like Miss Carrie, um, who goes to your house, I've had mine done. I'm not going to lie. Like, just, I need it done again. Every yeah. time my husband gets in my car, he's like, uh, your car is a disaster. I don't think it is, but... <laughs> How do they connect with you? What do, what do they need to do? So generally for us, um, for me, I'm, I'm busy all day. So it does get very tough for me to answer all my calls, which I probably answer like 5% of them. Um, but we do have a phone number you can call. Facebook Messenger um, on our Facebook page is always easy for us too. Um, and then we put you on our contact list and we just start chopping it down. So um, the best way to do it is just to give us a call um leave a message because nobody leaves messages these days um so we don't know if they're calling to offer us an extended warranty on our car or get their car detailed at this point so um but uh that's the best way you can reach out to us uh we're, we're getting better at getting back to people uh carrie's actually going to be helping us a lot with uh communications on our uh our pages and calling people back and answering people's questions and uh kind of going from there so Carrie, God is growing your technological skills by the minute, man. <laughs> it is definitely true. Yeah, she gets to walk around with two cell phones now. <laughs> I never know which one to call her on. No. <laughs> Nobody does. It's true. I, I will definitely say, since I've had this job, I've learned more <laughs> about technology than I've ever before. And I've definitely realized that I'm a lot better at it than I thought. So I yeah. think that makes perfect. Practice does make perfect. I know it's been difficult for you, Carrie. You are very um, like person to person. Uh, mm -hmm like you need to interact with people. And I know that um, we were talking about this earlier today for all of the extroverts out there. Andrew, I know you're more of an introvert and I thank you for coming on today. I know this is not easy, but um, you know, reach out to the people in your life who you know, like thrive on being in community with people because they need you right now. And if that's your small act of kindness today, then let that be that. Reach out to somebody that's on your heart or on your mind, let them know that you're there. Again, we're praying for all the people out there who are sick or the people who have lost loved ones. Um, our thoughts and prayers are with you. And we really can't wait to try to get back to what our new normal is going to be when this is done. But I, I love you both so much. You are part of our Christina's House family. And um, you're why I wake up every morning alongside, you know, my own family. You guys... Um, you make a difference in this world, and I'm so incredibly grateful. Carrie, I cannot wait to watch you move through the rest of this program and see it through completion and beyond. I just, I know you have so many wonderful things in store for you. God has just begun <laughs> to pave the way, and it's such a beautiful journey for you. Um, it's been an honor working with you at Christina's house. It really has. And your daughter um, today was, was awesome doing her baking. <laughs> Thank you. So um, 
Our goal today is to raise $5,000 for Christina's house. I have not been able to look at the updated amounts, but we were a little over $3,000. And if you donate um, between now and midnight tonight, again, you will be entered to win a gift certificate worth $100, good for any detailing service through CC Detailing. So our, the link to their Facebook page is in our comments. Please visit them and um, go see uh, Carrie once we're all through this. And we cannot wait. Uh, Mike Flan said, we love the ceramic coating that Andrew's team did on our new car. Yeah, I think me and Carrie did that one. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, that was probably a tough one, right? Yes. <laughs> they're, they're all tough. <laughs> yeah, and um, our hearts especially go out to Mike and Deb Flans. They are they help with our fundraising coordination. Um, they lost their cat last week, and Deb's dad has been really sick on hospice. So our prayers go out to them. Um, we are with them and just thankful for all they do for Christina's house as well. So um, in a couple of minutes, um, I just got news that we just got um, a $500 donation um, from the Andrick family, from Kirsten and Todd Andrick. So guys, thank you. You're gonna bring tears to my eyes right now. And no joke, like I I can't even thank you enough. The Andrick family, um, there is Ted Andrick Materials Group and Andrick Natural Earth. Andrick Natural Earth is run by um, Adam and Bethany Andrick. And then there's Ted Andrick Materials Group um, with Todd and Kirsten and, family and they are huge supporters of our house too. Um, they do so much for us and just like you, Andrew, they've had to pivot their business. So any of these awesome businesses today, our hope is that um, you reach out to them too, that we've raised awareness about them and everything they're doing to give back to the community. God bless you all. Carrie, I cannot wait to give you a big hug. Andrew, I can't wait to see you guys soon. Please tell Kathy and those beautiful kiddos we said hi. Definitely. All right. Be well. Stay safe and healthy, guys. Thank you so much for being with me today. Same. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, bye. Okay, you heard it live here. We were live with Andrew Norman, owner of Custom Car Detail, and one of the moms in our home, Carrie. Um, don't forget that between now and midnight, if you give $25 or more, you will be entered in to win a $100 gift certificate to CC Detailing, good for any detailing service through them. And don't forget, they will come to your house so you don't even have to leave. That's the best part about it. I know that they are working really well um, in terms of safety precautions. I know because <laughs> as Carrie is one of the moms in our house, I'm constantly checking in on um, how she's doing at work and, and you know, precautionary measures they're taking. So um, we have one.